हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand data type and data storage. First, let us understand data type. If we consider a microcontroller, the microcontroller consists of sixty-five thousand five thirty-six memory locations and sixteen-bit address bus. So, if we consider a microcontroller, it is having sixty-five thousand five thirty-six memory locations. and 16 bit address bus and a byte of data can be stored at each address with this memory space so we can store a byte of data at each address with this memory space which is in the microcontroller if we consider a byte of data if we say byte which means 8 bits so byte is having 8 bits so which can be numbered from 0 to 7 so the location 0 is known as lsb which is least significant bit and location 7 is known as msb which is most significant bit in the same way if we consider a word the word consists of 16 bits So, if we consider a word, it consists of sixteen bits. So, these bits can be numbered from zero to fifteen. The location zero is known as LSB, which is least significant bit, and location fifteen is known as MSB, which is most significant bit. If we consider a binary number, this binary number can be represented as a signed number. and unsigned number a signed number can be represented in the form of two's complement and also you need to remember in a signed number we need to observe an msb bit if msb bit is having the value 0 is known as positive number and if msb bit is having the value 1 that number is known as negative number for example if we consider this number so lsb location we are having 1 and remaining value it is 0 and msb we are having 1 so the value is 1 and due to this 1 msb is 1 so if msb value is 1 the number is negative so this given binary number is minus one for example if in this msb location if we had a zero the number would have been positive number so this is how a signed and unsigned number will be represented in binary number system this table shows the integer data values if we take unsigned byte so byte is having 8 bits so the range of the unsigned byte will be 0 to 255 since byte is having 8 bits 2 to the power of 8 the value will be 256 so we can represent 256 as 0 to 255 numbers so we can use 0 to 255 integer number to represent unsigned byte if we consider signed byte again it consists of 8 bits 0 to 7 bit we can use to represent the number and 8 bit we can use to represent the sign of the number so that's why we can use 2 to the power of 7 which is equal to 128 so we can represent minus 128 to plus 127 for a signed byte similar to this we can represent an unsigned word from 0 to 65535 and signed word we can represent from minus 32768 to plus 32767 so this is how we can represent the signed and unsigned number now let us understand data storage the microcontroller consists of two types of data storage first one is rom and second one 
is RAM. ROM is nothing but read only memory and RAM is nothing but random access memory. ROM is used for permanent storage of data. Hence, it is also known as non-volatile memory. If we say non-volatile memory, which means program and data remains intact when power supply is disconnected. So, ROM is read-only memory, which can be used for permanent data storage. Hence, it is also known as non-volatile memory because program and data remains intact when power supply is disconnected. RAM is used for storage of transient data that are used by program. So, RAM is used for temporary data storage. Hence, it is also known as volatile memory. If we say volatile memory, which means program and data is lost when power supply is disconnected. So, RAM is random access memory that is used for storage of transient data that are used by program. So, transient data which is intermediate values. So, RAM is used for temporary data storage. That's why it is also known as volatile memory. If we say volatile memory, program and data is lost when power supply is disconnected. So, there is an exception called CMOS RAM, which can store data by means of battery. For example, it can store date and time. So, CMOS RAM is one of the exception which can store the data by means of battery. So, which is used to store the date and time in a computer system. When we express a amount of storage, we can say 1 kilobyte of memory is equivalent to 1024 bytes. So, because 1 kilo can be represented as 2 to the power of 10 that is nothing but 1024 that is why we say 1 KB is equal to 1024 bytes. 1 megabyte is equivalent to 1024 kilobyte. 1 gigabyte is equivalent to 1024 megabyte. 1 terabyte is equivalent to 1024 gigabyte. And 1 petabyte is equivalent to 1024 terabyte. So, this is how we can represent the memory. If we consider semiconductor ROM, the capacity of semiconductor ROM is usually specified in terms of address range and number of bits stored at each address. So, the capacity of semiconductor ROM can be specified in terms of address range and number of bit stored at each address. For example, 2K into 8 bits is having the capacity of 2 kilobyte and similarly, 4K into 8 bits is having the capacity of 4 kilo bytes. This is about data type and data storage. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.